Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here again. And today it will be about book pages. Uh, there is a hundred amazing tutorials what you can do with book pages. Book pages are totally stunning and wonderful craft material. So here uh, I glued four book pages together. Two I glued uh, with this piece over each other and then I glued from other side another two on it. And I made piece which is big i'm gonna tell you how big it is it's 11 11 and a half by nine and one quarter so i'm gonna try to create something using those four book pages and i think it will be small booklet with probably hopefully two pockets so how big pockets I would like to have? I would like to have one side like a lid for the pocket. Yes, I would like to have it. So six and I will be left with three and one quarter. Yeah, that can do. So I'm going to score it six inches here. Oh, if only I will be successful. Six inches here. I'm going to fold it down. And this one, it's 11 and a half. So if I will score four, eight, yeah, that can, that can work. I'm going to score four and one quarter. Four and one quarter. Plus one same size, it's eight and a half, and that rest. And now I'm gonna cut it somehow. So here I do have four and one quarter, and here is that second one, eight and a half. Uh, one I would like to use like a flap for pocket and these two I don't need so I'm gonna cut here that piece I'm gonna take my scissors and hope for the best I'm not too good with cutting straight lines with scissors for some reason I'm always <laughs> cutting like not straight <laughs> So here and here in this score line. So here I will have flap for my pocket and some glue from book. And this small piece I can use as that pocket here. Yeah, that will be perfect. So I will need some fold on one side. create a pocket and here on other side like this and here I guess I'm gonna just use scissors So this is my leftover. Here I've got base for my pocket here. Yeah, that can work. And here I can see that it's not straight. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing with those scissors. So I've got pocket here with a flap. And here I've got, here I forgot to put the glue. And in that other corner as well. Look at me. How awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna add there a little bit more glue. I will use my sewing machine so it will be sewn anyway. So in that pocket I'm gonna cut those corners to the angle so it will don't make those terrible bulks when I will glue it down.
like this. And here will be another pocket. Wonderful. So uh, today I'm gonna use bundled, bundled sage. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Bundled sage. I will put a uh, list of all uh, tools or items I'm using on, in that description box. So you can have a look what I have used in this video. And I'm gonna distress all this pocket with this sage bundled, bundled sage color. Yourself. Yeah, that's why you like it more. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. And if I will imagine that here, like this, so this one, I'm gonna use the same color on this small piece or a fold. good and because it's kind of not vintage at all uh, I've got here also walnut stain that's my favorite ink so with that ink I'm gonna distress all edges to make you know that vintage vintage look and I am using my nearly dry ink pad and that is because I'm lazy <laughs> I'm lazy to do it with small tool <laughs> so with ink pad it's much more <laughs> easy I'm gonna fold it this way go a little bit and from those other side yes here Here. Here. Okay. Yep. I think I do have all these pieces. I think so. <clears throat> yes, this will be here. Oh, probably this way because the writing it's this way. So this way it will be here, like this, and this will be here, and it's kind of empty. So I'm gonna use the stencils. This time uh, I'm choosing these Andy Skinner stencils. So these are those steampunk stencils, and I really like them. So I'm gonna use numbers or the guy I can use that guy I'm gonna use these numbers here on that small part and for that I'm gonna use just black ink and I'm gonna use one of these brushes because since I both these brushes I'm not gonna use for my stencils anything else they are soft and wonderful and I'm not destroying my stencils anymore I'm always kind of heavy with my hand when it comes about stenciling and many of my stencils I broke or you know a bit destroyed oh, I like that okay that will be here maybe <laughs> yeah maybe that steam will be good so I'm gonna put here steam will I why not I 
Yes, that's good. And something with this opposite thingy. It's really empty, so what I'm gonna do here? <laughs> can actually add here these numbers as I do like numbers so here I'm gonna add these numbers yep that's good And I've got here this beautiful paper punch. This is from EK Success. But I a little bit broke it. <laughs> it's still working. I just, you know, somehow cracked this this one. So I'm gonna give it a try, and I'm gonna punch here. See what I did? I don't need that, right? Okay, I've got here this window. So first I'm gonna distress it a little bit. You have to be careful, this is really teeny small piece of paper. And to make sure it will somehow hold the pocket, here I've got clear packing tape. So I'm gonna use that clear packing tape to reinforce this and also to cover the window. Here I'm gonna just cut it right on the side like this. Flip it over, and now uh, here it's kind of sticky. So what I can what I can do, what I can do. I can put there another number or I can put there something else. Can I? Ticket, it's too long. Mm -hmm. This, maybe? No. Nope. That small number, maybe? No, that's too small. I'm gonna put there that teeny mini small number. And because it's sticky, that packing tape should catch up a little bit of that ink. And hopefully, you will see. Uh, not too much, but something is there. And... Uh, Rid of that stickiness, I've got here, this is that uh, anti-static powder. So I'm gonna just tap, 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 tap. And that's, ooh, that looks good. <laughs> and it's not sticky anymore. And here I left a little bit of that packing tape. Now I can see that much better when it's on the top of that powder. Yeah, that looks good. So I've got here these two pieces. I'm going to distress it with that walnut stain. Yeah. 
Qué bueno. This one, I'm gonna glue it just here. If my glue will work, why my glue doesn't work? Hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah, this will work. And probably somewhere here, just like decoration, like double. Labels. So now I'm gonna use my sewing machine and make uh, and sew all those, both those two pieces. All around. I did sewn effect all around uh, of this large piece and also on this small pocket I'm gonna glue that down straight away oh if my <laughs> glue will work I forgot Help. sorry for that shaking I'm so sorry I've got on the holder of my camera I've got magnet and that holds the needles and the pin so sorry <laughs> ah it works now so I'm gonna put that glue and we will use some decoration on the top. Uh, recently I did few ATC cards because I'm in swap with ladies from uh, Crafts to Inspire on Facebook. So I'm gonna show you how you can beautifully use ATC card as decoration. So here we have a pocket. And if I don't want to make any closure, this is kind of, you know, flying. So if you will, these are my cards for swap. It's teeny meeny thingy. And uh, I created also before a few cards. And <laughs> somehow I cut it <laughs> too wide. So I can't use them like ATC because they, are, they don't have that uh, right size. So I think I'm going to choose this card right here it was made like uh, supposed to be etc but i kind of like it here so i'm gonna glue it down just on three edges i can add there one tack so here and here and here and if you will imagine that you will create etc cards just to practice maybe some technique you know or to try some new dye or some new embossing uh, folder or some new stamps or but just just for fun so then you can use those cards like your decoration on pockets uh, one tuck give me one tuck so here i can have teeny mini small tuck <laughs> i like it <laughs> so you got this done here we've got pocket uh, we don't have that pocket yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna add glue here on this side. And here on that side. I'm gonna glue it down. And make something interesting inside here I do have beautiful writing space on that other side I can put you know just paper and use it like another writing space so I'm gonna rip that paper to the size of this book page part I think right here where it's kind of destroyed, it will be okay. See? Yes, right here. I'm gonna add their glue. Put there that piece.
and this can be like decoration maybe here or it can totally peek out a little bit of the edge where I will like it more here or on the top I will like it more and if I will glue it just on half maybe I can also use it <coughs> like small tuck spot we will see if is it strong enough to hold mini tuck hold and one more tuck show me just one very carefully yay <coughs> Look at that. So I've got my booklet done. I've got two writing spaces. I've got two pockets. Uh, three. One, two, three. And one tuck spot. So <laughs> this was just very quick, uh, very quick craft. Just something you can do, you know, if you've got just a few minutes some easy folding nothing too hard maybe you do have some uh, index cards so try to use them like your decoration if you don't want to store them uh, you know in some album to save them maybe you want to uh, show them to the world so try to use them like decoration and i made uh, i've got it on my etsy just one sheet with those small photographies like this my camera it's kind of crazy again. I'm so sorry for that. I hope you saw everything clearly. So I did this sheet. There are sayings here on the bottom. I used a few of them on my cards here. And there are those number <coughs> number squares and number numbered rectangles and those beautiful pictures. So it's on my Etsy if you if you are interested. And these are my ABC cards. It's so much fun to create those teeny, mini, small art pieces. It's relaxing. And you can actually use uh, offcuts uh, from the work before, like your layout to the background. So it's really, really fun to create small ATC cards. So this is my very quick sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. Have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Take care about yourself and see you next time. Bye.